What's good family? So mash the like button and subscribe. So for you man who don't know, 24 hours ago, the judge in Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder's mediation case shockingly ruled in Wilder's favour. And he has ordered an immediate rematch on or before the 15th of September of this year. In response to that shocking news, Fury has come out and alleged that Wilder is asking for $20 million. And on such a basis, he's deciding to fill Wilder in instead. Now I'm hearing from my particular sources within Fury's camp that that $20 million alleged offer from Wilder is pure fake news. I'm hearing that Fury himself is sitting there in Miami or wherever he is partying. He's just having fun with this one now. He's punking his own fans off. And AJ said it best weeks ago. AJ said, my fans are tired. Your fans are tired. Everyone's tired. Let's just do this fight. Fury took all of you and all of his fans and followers and put, put, told you to get on your knees and he stood there and just busted all over your faces. That's like, it got you man looking real silly right now. Wipe up your face, my star. Yeah? Go on, star. You know what I'm saying? I'll pass you man a piece, little piece of tissue still. Pass you man a little piece of tissue still. Wipe up, you know what I'm saying? Wipe your lip up, boss man. That's how you man looking. It's Fury is and, and he stays doing it as well, that's the worst thing. He stays, I've got all these dons in my comments. YB, you need to apologise. YB, move on. AJ and Fury's happening, talk about that. You, you, you know what I'm saying? You man just stay on your knees and Fury stays there, gushing or gu guffing off all over you, man. 100%. Yeah? Because you man keep going back for seconds and more. I told you it's not happening. Months ago. You man just love getting on your knees and staying there. And just waiting for round two. Waiting for the next load that Fury lays on you. And this is for me, like I told you, this right here is the fifth load. The fifth load, and you got Fury fans, oh yeah, Fury, go on, fill in Wilder, oh, 20 million dollars, ridiculous, you're right, Wild Fury, yeah, go get, he's made it all up, you understand, he's made it all up, F Wilder, what you man don't understand is, yeah, if Wilder was happy to take monetary compensation, the mediation would have been done already, yeah, if it was about money, money would have been what was awarded, does that make sense? Wilder has already said, I want the fight. If it was money, yeah, the judge would have come back and said, listen, Wilder, we'll give you 20 million. Or the fight, if that makes sense. Give him a choice. The judge has come back and wants to fight. He don't want no money. And that's what, to be fair to Wilder, that's what he said all along. Not, or never at one point has he ever alleged any money. And that hasn't changed. Fury's sitting there, got all you fans lining up, waiting to see his response, and he's just busted all over your faces one more time, telling lies about 20 million. Wilder don't want no money. And if you don't believe me, his main man, Wilder's come out and said the following. Wilder has declined and has no interest in step aside money. Y'all dealing with a whole different type of MFA over here. He want blood, not that step aside money. Retribution is upon us. So now you've heard there from Wilder, he don't want no money. And I actually believe him on this one. To be fair to Wilder, yes, he's been turned out. Yes, he loves to twerk now. Yes, he's adopted some fruity tactics, sorry, some fruity attitudes and fruity actions. But the facts are, fair play to him, fruity or not, he wants to, he wants to have a go on Wilder. He wants, sorry, he wants to, have an, he wants to try and have a go on Fury. Because what you man don't understand is, people are saying, well, why, be, why doesn't he take free money? I had some other goof saying, why, but it's obvious Wilder will take step aside money because it's free money. You man don't understand. If you step back a step, step back a little bit and challenge your IQ, think longer term here. Okay, Wilder takes step aside money, but then what? Then his career is essentially over because if AJ beats Fury, which is likely to happen, that means Wilder has to fight AJ. He don't want that. His plan is don't take step aside, fight with Fury, beat him, and then stay scary with the belt like he's been doing. That's his plan. He can't do that. If he, if he opts for step aside, that, that basically makes him have to fight the winner. And Fury, Wilder knows, probably, it's not going to be Fury. No power having. And you know what I mean? No power having ass. Yeah? Slap having asses. He can do nothing. Even if AJ goes in there scary, still, Fury can't even win in a scary match. In a boxing match, I've always said this, in a boxing match, AJ still wins. Yes, it's closer, but he still wins. Too much speed, too much power. End of day. The scoring shots will be from AJ. Fury can't score. Simple as that. Anyway, listen. Wilder coming out, just like I said he would. He don't want no money. Now, and the thing is, the truth is, Wild Fury doesn't even want to pay him any money. 
Fury's been saying for the longest, we ain't paying him no money. I'd rather fill him in. And there's a reason, if you just use your brain a little bit, it's just a little tiny piece. This fight's always been, uh, the whole AJ thing, to me, looks like a big sham. I'm not sure if Team AJ are behind it, or sorry, not behind it, but I'm not sure if they're playing along with it. Because like I said in my last video, it seems odd to me that Eddie Hearn and his whole team were just happy to go along with assuming that Fury would win this win this uh, rematch clause business, even though it doesn't make no sense for him to have won it, ever, given the circumstances. So I'm not sure whether Eddie Hearn and Team AJ have played along with this to keep trying to kind of make, to give it the whole Fury and AJ, make it the next May of a Pacquiao. Because that's drug out for about 10 years. Literally almost, seven, five, six, seven years it dragged out for. So I'm not sure whether they're behind it, but either way it's irrelevant. From the jump, for the last six months, Fury and Wilder have... I'm not being funny here. What makes this worse for me is, Fury and Wilder could have literally fought in February. And and, and if it wasn't for the fact that Fury... Because ultimately, yeah, what's gone on here is... I've just said that I think Fury wants to fight Wilder, but that's not true. Ultimately, Fury wants to fight two bums. That's what we do know. Fury's plan for the last year has been to fight two bums. At least two bums. I, I think really he wants to nick the belt and just fight bums. I can't even blame him. Do you know where Fury got the idea of doing that from? From Wilder himself. Fury's thought, well, why can't I nick the WBC belt and just fight bums? Like Wilder's been doing. So I can't even blame really Fury. That the, the, the onus or the responsibility here is really on Wilder. If Wilder hadn't nicked the WBC belt off of Vitali's grave and then fought bums, no one would ever have the idea of nicking a belt and just fighting bums. F what? Fury thought, you know what? Mar we know Mauricio Suleiman loves, loves, loves to see me fight bums. I'll nick the belt off Wilder, run away from the rematch, and then just stay fighting bums. Again and again and again. No AJ fight, no Wilder rematch. Because that's what it comes down to. And if you disagree with me, oh, well, Fury, I mean, uh, why be a lion? Fury would love to get in there with AJ. Fury would love to get in there with Wilder. Listen, if Fury could have got in there with Wilder back in January, better yet, he could have got him back in there in for since March last year. Isn't it? If Fury had any, if Fury really wanted to fight Wilder, he could have done so in January. Because the whole reason this mediation exists is because Fury was trying to get out of fighting Wilder. Bottom line. Now, why would he want? If Fury was intending to fight some top athletes, why would he been tied up in this for? At any point in this situation, yeah, Fury could have said, you know what, judges, rather than waiting until mid-May for a decision, I'll, let me just fight, because that's the thing, if the decision weren't going to come until May, mid-May, June, why didn't Fury just say, I'm not waiting until May, June, I'll fight him in January, let's get out of the way. He could have said that at any point. This, this case has been going on since, I think, November. Back in November, Fury could have said, you know what, guys, don't take it to court, let me just fill him in. Because before we know it, court takes time. Let me just fill him in now and fight him. Fury said no. Fury said no, let's go to court and, and pray that we win a legal decision that was never going to work. And again, if you want more proof that Fury didn't want to fight Wilder, for whatever reason, he spent millions on lawyers. He spent millions on lawyers only to lose anyway. But the reason he spent millions on lawyers was to avoid fighting Wilder. No matter what way you cook it, no, no matter what way you cut it, that's the, that's the truth of it. Fury spent millions to get out of something he signed up for. Let's not forget that. This isn't the case. People, like many Fury fans, the shillers, justifying his actions. He signed a rematch clause. No one else did. If Fury only wanted to do one and done, he should have put that in the contract. He didn't. Start living up to your contractual obligations. The problem is, again, in terms of history, much like F Wilder saw Fury, sorry, Fury saw Wilder fighting bums, Fury also got out of the Vlad rematch. So he's, he's got a history of ducking rematches. So he thought, you know, I'll, I'll just won't do this one. What he didn't realise is, the Vlad rematch didn't happen because he was retired. That's the only way to do it. If you're planning on being active, you can't get out of rematch clauses. I've never seen it ever happen. Ever. If you man have, please let me know. So I'm not sure. Like, his whole team is weird. Really bad advisors. The whole thing's a mess. The whole thing sums up Fury in general. Just messy looking. Real messy. This one right here, look, this whole situation looks like taking your nine-year-old son out to a rave. <laughs> yeah, messy. No doubt. So, yeah, I'm not going to spend much more longer on this. Fury, messy, Wilder. Wilder should have had, I said this, when I came back to YouTube back in November, December, sorry. I said, listen, 
end of the day, Fury should fight Wilder, should have fought Wilder. Bottom line, for the benefit of the sport in general, because that meant if Fury had fought Wilder, that would have been an undisputed WBC champion. Right now, I don't care what no one says, right now, Fury is not the undisputed WBC champion. There's a question mark. When you beat a champion and he wants a rematch, you have to beat him again, in my opinion. Because anything can go wrong in that one fight. Do it twice if you're that bad. And AJ set the precedent for that. AJ's never nicked a belt and then not offered a, offered a rematch clause. Yeah? So, it's there. And better yet, you signed it. That's the worst thing about this. This isn't a, oh, you know, it's been sprung on me. You knew, and the thing is what gets me as well. You can bet your bottom dollar. If Fury, let's take a second, let's take a step out here. If Fury had a lost, yeah? If Fury had a lost, and this was wild acting like this, which he may, to be fair to him, he probably would have. But either way, if it, if it was the case... Fury fans would be going mad. You man wouldn't have be you you man wouldn't be finding it cool that F that Wilder didn't want to do the rematch. You'd be going mad, and rightly so. But for some reason, because it's your man, you justify it. Oh yeah, why be? Oh yeah, Fury's punked Wilder off. No, he hasn't. He just ran from the rematch. That's all he's done. He's ran from something he was contractually obliged to do. And now look at us. Rather than just doing what you rather than doing what you're obligated for. Instead, you've dragged this out, and now we've got no AJ fight, and Fury's been inactive for 18 months. That's what it will be. By the time they fought in September, it would have been over 18 months. For what? You took 18 months out of the ring to try and be a smart ass. Oh, and by the way, you spent millions of dollars. So you've lost millions of dollars on lawyers. You've lost millions of dollars on, on opportunity cost, where you could have been fighting. And now you're fighting Wilder anyway. This could have happened in June last year, or whenever. But either way, we're here now, and now everyone's a year older and whatnot. But for the sport's sake, it, it, it's better this way. Because the winner of Fury and Wilder will hopefully fight AJ. And that person will be better than they were, in my opinion. Because they will have... Whoever wins this... Well, that's, the, that's the thing about it, to be fair. I'm thinking, if Wilder wins this fight... I, I, I think there's probably going to be a rematch clause. Because the first fight was a draw. So that don't count. Now it's 1-0 to Fury. So, if, if we've got to hope that Fury wins, because if he don't, it's going to be another one. And that'll be the decider. If Fury doesn't win this fight, it's messy. So, hopefully, Fury does win the fight. But either way, the reason it's good for boxing is, is that that'll make Fury a better fighter. Because he, like, when he comes to fight AJ, if he does fight AJ, he'll be, a, a, um, he'll be more active. I didn't really like this whole 18 months off business. I, for me, I, I like the sport to be done in the best way. Now, as an AJ fan, yeah, it may be somewhat beneficial for him to have had time out, but I'm not really an AJ fan like that. I'm not just I'm not someone who just wants someone to win by any means necessary. I like someone to win because they're the best and they've done it the right way. That's why people can't understand why be. What does it matter if AJ, as long as AJ wins against Fury? No, it's not. It's not as long as he wins. I'm not interested in him, in him just winning. I want him to win in, in a certain way. Otherwise, don't bother. That's my opinion for it. If you're going to go in there and go 50-50 with Fury, don't bother. Just stay at home. I'm, I'm not looking to see. I'm not looking to see Afrikanyalis go 50-50 with a Don whose back's bump bouncing around the place. His back bubbles more than chick's titties do, no doubt. So don't tell me it needs to be going 12 rounds. It's embarrassing. If AJ goes 12 rounds with Fury, it's an embarrassment to the sport. I'm sorry. Simple as that. So yeah, Fury. No matter what way you cut it, fighting Wilder will, will be beneficial to the sport. He will have. It will have increased his activity and also. No matter what we say about Wilder, he is top five. So beating a top five competitor will keep you sharp in the meantime. And the same for AJ, hopefully. Hopefully in the next six months, AJ can wash them, them cobwebs out and get over this whole trying to be goofy business. And that means we can see the ultimate fight in the end. Uh, an active fury and a ferocious AJ. That's the ultimate goal I've got here. So I'm actually, I'm actually glad in a way it's ended up, up like this.